Hey guys, Kurt Haas here from Hostile Conditioning. It's Thursday, uh, getting back to the weekly weigh-in, the road to 275. Um, just uh, finished weighing myself and going through a few things, so uh, I'll get right to the point. Uh, back August 21st, I competed at the, uh, the Ottawa Bench Press competition. My first time back in the, uh, in the Bench Press uh, CPU, IPF, OPA, Ontario Powerlifting Association. I benched a 424 raw, which was uh, nice. Uh, rebuilding that back, my goal is getting back to 500 on the raw after a bunch of years, about two years working in the uh, multiply shirts. My, my groove is off a bit, so I'm regrouping, rebuilding that. Uh, so, another good goal to have, right, to work towards. I weighed in that day at 317.4, which was one of the lightest weights I've ever competed at. Uh, so, I was very happy with that as well, too. Uh, I think the last time I competed, uh, two Januaries ago, I benched a 650 in a multiply shirt and I weighed 385 pounds. So uh, the last time I competed and did anything raw, I was weighing 360. So, you know, definitely 50 pounds or so from my raw days and uh, almost 80 pounds down from uh, my shirted days. So definitely feel good about that. The strength to weight ratio is more impressive and, and that's what I'm all about now. Um, so 317.4, I've gone up a bit. I was down as low, I think as 312, but then with the heavier training and stuff, uh, I built up a little bit more muscle mass and not quite as tight on my diet as I should have been, it's probably the real truth. Uh, five days later, getting back to just the man diet, with the high protein, the good vegetables, carbs in the morning, fats in the afternoon, that principle dropped down almost five pounds to 312.8. And then uh, last week and a half, just doing my normal training, watching what I'm eating, behaving more, I'm down to 309.4, which is the lightest I can remember being in a long, long time. Uh, I'm going to say easily uh, 14, 15 years. So I'm uh, pretty happy with that. The cool part is when I work it out visually, I mean, that's nice, but then just look at it. I'm 10 pounds away from going sub 300. I'm 10 pounds away from being 299 pounds. I cannot remember the last time I was in the 200s. So I'm very, very excited about that. And if you remember my original goal is getting down to 275, I am 34.4 pounds away from hitting that 275. So uh, things are moving along. I'm really happy with a couple of things that I'm doing in my training as well as we talked in some of the other videos is um, you know I, I'm competing or I'm competing but I've signed up for the Spartan race uh, for 2013 army run our own run and because of that I've started a program to start running and I've said it before you know if you're gonna run you gotta learn how to run and you gotta learn how to pace yourself and do it properly so I'm doing this program called couch to 5k you run three times a week on that for me it's Monday Wednesday Friday started off with uh, five minute walk 60 seconds of running um, and then, you know, a minute and a half of walking it goes back and forth for that for 28 to 31 minutes. And every week it builds up. So your, your uh, sessions of running increase, your sessions of walking increase, and then decrease a little bit. So this week, uh, on Monday, I started my new session, which is, uh, sorry, Wednesday, which is my, my new session of running, which is five minutes of running, five minutes of walking. Repeat that three times. And that one quite well, I was very happy with that. I was running with one of my clients, his foot was sore so he didn't run very fast so I slowed my pace down and that made a big difference. So I was still jogging at a slower pace than I normally do and I managed a lot better. So now I'm starting to look into more about understanding pacing when running and, and how to, to set up you know, so that you get you know, a good run but you maintain a good pace so you can deliver a better workout. This uh, Friday is my next run again coming up with five minute running, five minute walking. Uh, and then it goes five minutes, uh, sorry, five minutes of running, five minutes of walking, eight minutes of running, five minutes of walking, and does that a couple times. And then on Monday is the big one for me. It's going to be my first 20 minute solid uh, run. So I'm excited, nervous at the same time. Every week I get to the larger ones, the larger runs, and I'm always a little intimidated, but yet, you know what? The way the program's working and, and, and things like that, it's working out quite well. So, uh, you know, just have faith in the program. Like I say, with all kinds of all the training we do here, just follow it and, and, and just push through it and, and you'll improve. Um, that being said, so I'm running three times Monday, Wednesday, Friday, run, jog, or whatever. I'm also doing kettlebells Mondays and Wednesdays, a couple of really big kettlebell workouts. Uh, I did the challenge last Saturday, which was 550 reps. And then Monday was another 450 rep challenge that we did. So uh, it was pretty mangled, 1,000 reps in 48 hours throw in a run on Monday, high volume benching on Tuesday. When I got around to training yesterday, you know, for kettlebell, after my run was smooth, but when I came to kettlebells, you know, I was feeling a little beat up and stuff, but it was a good workout. It was a, we did a gauntlet, so we worked a series of four or five, six exercises, a minute of each, and then rest, 
four rounds of that, uh, a lot of different things, kettlebells, some body weight stuff. Very good workout, very challenging. And I was like getting that good kettlebell grind workout in on a Wednesday because with my Thursdays weigh in, it just helps me, you know, shed a little more, you know, calories and, and, and squeeze a little more out so that uh, it helps me, you know, ensure myself that I'm gonna have a better weigh in as long as my other things are happening, namely my diet. So again, pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with the 309.4. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've seen that number on there. I feel really good overall. Nervous system's a little beat up from the training, like I said earlier, but overall, I feel better. My legs are good, my knees are good. Um, and I'm just, I'm pumped, a lot of energy, a lot of good things going on. And uh, I'm just looking forward to continuing it. So again, right now, that's what I'm doing. Two kettlebells, Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, weights, primarily barbell for, for uh, upper body. Tuesdays uh, and Saturdays, my heavy benching. And then the uh, couch to 5K running Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then the other two or three days, I'm doing my power walk. And that's where I'm off to after this. Shut this video down, then I'm gonna go hit a three to 4K walk, a nice light walk just to help recover, help the nervous system settle down because it has been beat up in the last week or so, uh, but also keep the metabolic rate up and just you know keep the, the juices flowing and keep healing. So very, very important that we maintain that. And uh, yeah, things are good. A lot of cool things coming up. We got, again, some more information coming out on some seminars we'll be doing. We're going to be running another bench seminar, another bench uh, seminar regarding bands, boards, and chains are coming up. We've got a couple runs. I'm getting ready to do another little seminar on just protein, uh, how we need it, why we need it, how the body works with it, the types of protein. Just getting into that, having protein with every meal. So stay tuned. A lot of cool things going on. And, uh, you know, uh, we're always working to bring you guys better training, better nutrition, better information to get you to your goals. So anyway, that's enough for today. I just wanted to say uh, pretty proud of myself and I'm proud of you guys. I want to make sure you guys are out there and doing your best. If you have any questions about your training, about your nutrition, contact me. KurdHoss at gmail.com, HostileConditioning.com, HostileKettlebellSystem.com for our new DVD as well uh, on kettlebell training. There's lots of ways to get a hold of me. Don't be shy. No question is too... It's too, too dumb as they say, the only dumb question is the one you didn't ask, and I want to help you guys out and help you guys get your goals. Kurt Haas from Hostile Conditioning saying, crush it.